We feel that we have one of the best interventional cardiology training programs in the country. It is an intense fellowship. In the first year, you are predominantly on call every other night with a few nights that are covered by the second year fellows. So when you come here, you're going to work hard, but you'll be trained by seven world-class interventional cardiologists who are themselves experts in all aspects of the interventional field. What drew me to the UCSD Interventional Cardiology Fellowship program was we have all of our excellent attendings who get a variety of cases. We do some cases here that other places won't do and the complexity is high. Um, and you have the opportunity as the trainee to be hands-on with high complexity cases earlier in your training um, and that allows you to really step easily into even your second year of interventional fellowship more as a junior attending, not so much as a trainee. Yeah, I think part of the reason I actually chose to come here as a general fellow is some part of its strength in the interventional department. Um, we have a pretty good volume for California here, so we have, do good complex corner, good structural, and also peripheral intervention, so things that not everybody can obtain at all different programs. Within the interventional department itself, there's several different attendings that I look at as mentors and leaders and have a lot of experience and knowledge that I can gain from. It's a two-year program. We take two fellows each year. So the first year is the ACGME year committed to meeting the requirements to sit for the ABIM Interventional Cardiology Board Examination. So predominantly is focused on coronary interventional training. There's a large volume of primary angioplasty. We do uh, basic coronary interventions all the way to dedicated CTO programs, unprotected left main interventions, high-risk hemodynamic support cases, carotid stenting, endovascular stenting, lower extremity, as well as uh, aortic disease treatment. So when fellows come here, they are exposed to all aspects of interventional coronary and structural training. The second year is a more advanced year where we ensure that all of our fellows get exposed to endovascular interventions, structural heart and congenital interventions, and chip cases. The chip cases include unprotected left main, hemodynamically assisted PCI, atherectomy. From a structural standpoint, you get to do TAVRs, percutaneous mitral valve repair with a mitral clip, congenital interventions with the Melody implantation for the pulmonic valve, and in the endovascular space, from carotid stenting to lower extremity interventions. So our fellows get trained in all aspects of interventional medicine. We have three training locations, and as interventional fellows, we work at all three. The majority of our time first year is split between the VA Medical Center and UCSD La Jolla, with occasional cases down at UCSD Hillcrest, and that's actually where the majority of our STEMI volume is. I feel that it is necessary to have that diversity of training to be the best version of interventional cardiologists that you could be. So our fellows get trained in all aspects of interventional medicine. In addition, we're involved in clinical trials, and so fellows uh, enroll patients in trials, and as their interest um, develops, they participate in presenting the data at national meetings and writing uh, on their findings. As a general fellow, but through an interventional research, I was able to speak at a, a national conference for interventional, which was a very good experience for me. I have uh, experienced presenting at national conferences, also doing online case presentations for Angio Club with a national audience, and also doing independent research uh, with various attendings and working on original research projects. There, there's, there's more than enough opportunity. So we expect our fellows to complete their two-year training, having published papers in leading journals. We look for our fellows to go on to direct and lead cath labs around the country or around the world. My opinion can freely be expressed and incorporated into the patient care plan, also just how the cath lab works. I think there's a very good relationship and rapport with uh, many of the CT surgeons here. There's respect and we can talk about patients. If we feel like a patient's more appropriate for surgery or stenting, I think we um, can talk about that as well. The fellows are actively involved in the quality assurance process and the QA and performance improvement uh, of individual cases that are reviewed both by the faculty and the fellows as they pertain to interventional cardiology. 
One of the other great advantages of coming to train here is San Diego is an extraordinary place to live. You'll work hard, but when you have time off, there's lots of fun things to do for yourself and for your family. And at this stage in your training, you need to think about not just yourself, but also your family that's here with you. Work-life balance here, I mean, obviously being an interventional fellow is very um, challenging and a lot of hard work, but it's very rewarding, you know, at the end of your cases. There is time for, for social life. Um, San Diego is a place, is some place my wife and I knew that we would be happy with for at least five years, because that's kind of what we were planning on. Um, there's a lot to do outside of work, so that's also... I like to run, I like to surf, I like to hike, so those are the things that I think you can definitely do here. So. There is no program in the country that's going to train you in the breadth and depth of interventional cardiology as ours at UC San Diego.